So here we go. Um, I'm Stephanie Garrity. I'm the Executive Director at Rainbows for All Children. I make sure that we have lights on and running water <laughs> and we have staff who feel happy and supported and we create these great programs for the youth of the community that need them. Um, oh, here it is. <laughs> the kangaroos and the koalas and the platypus. I'm like, I love that. But now I have someone to talk to. Not, every, not everybody has somebody that they can share their emotions with. Prior to rainbows being created, uh, Susie Yelmarta had, um, she was a mom of three boys, had gone through a divorce and was going to a support group herself. Um, and so she would come home and her boys are like, you seem happier after you go to your support group. Is there a support group for, for kids? Can you, you know, can we go to a group? And in the late seventies, early eighties, there wasn't anything. And so Susie's like, okay, this you know, this doesn't make sense to me. And being a woman of firm faith and, and pretty strong belief, she was like, we need this. We need to create this. So she pulled together a group of folks around her who helped her really create what was the foundation for Rainbows and became this international nonprofit 37 years later. But Susie died very unexpectedly in January of 2013. And, you know, Susie was was rainbows in so many ways. She was so passionate about making sure that every child who needed support got it at no cost to their family. That was Susie's mission to make sure that every child who needed support had it and you know it was accessible. That continues to be our mission. Well, certainly we have this lovely mission statement and it's great, but at the end of the day, that's our mission. We had one rainbows alum who lost her brother when she was seven and he was in his teens. He um, had this long illness and she, you know, lived on the North Shore, you know, affluent community, access to, you know, mental health care. And so her parents, you know, had their kids go to an individual counselor. And, and what she said was that it never felt natural or normal to sit and talk to a grown up about how she was feeling. It felt more natural, more normal to sit at a table and talk about her feelings with people her age, you know, as they're coloring or they're drawing or they're journaling, um, you know, and so that to me always underscores the importance of giving them, you know, space with their peers to talk through their emotions. And this one over here about the dark heart is always really profound to me. Um, oof. Even with a dark heart, a rainbow can shine. Rainbows means to forgive and forget the pain, and that was one of our junior high kiddos. Children do best when they have at least five invested adults in their life. There are many children that don't even have one. Um, you know, and we know that 68% of the youth across America have experienced one or more of the losses that Rainbows supports. That's 51 million children. 10% of those children have experienced three or more of those losses. So you're talking about 5.1 million kids who've experienced three or more losses, divorce, deployment, deportation, incarceration, um, death. I mean, there's, you know, when you think about children three to 18, having three or more of those losses in that short period of time is gut wrenching. And that we would expect that they'll be able to bounce back and be okay seems really short-sighted. And so I think just acknowledging that children have these really deep emotions, um, you know, they, they worry, they fret just like adults do. And so as concerned, responsible adults, it's up to us to help them clear that chaos and clear those worries and provide them with ways to, you know, deal with those emotions in, you know, in healthy and positive ways because we know that, that these often are not the first or, or not, maybe not the only um, traumas or, or losses that they're going to experience in their life. If we can give them tools to carry forward, they're going to be better off and then we as a global community will be better off as well.